Good morning, Monroe. Today is Monday, April 20th, 2020, and it is Fairy Tale Week. Happy birthday to three boys. James in first grade celebrated on Saturday, Lucas in fourth grade celebrated on Sunday, and Kevin in third grade celebrates today. This is our second full week of remote learning. So there are three ELA, three math, one science or social studies, and two special lessons. There are also some optional meetings. Most important thing, friends, is that you are kind to your family and that you take care of each other during this time. So above everything else, make sure that you guys are just taking care of one another. So why did we choose fairy tales? One, I love fairy tales because I think they teach us very important life lessons. At the end of every fairy tale, it's all okay. Might not always be the most beautiful happy ending, but it's all okay. And I think we can learn a lot from that. And finally, I think it encourages imagination and creativity. So friends, get your creative juices flowing this week. Today's features include a morning meeting with the Berkheimer family, problem of the day with Mrs. Fisher, and of course, a joke of the day with Miss Jill. Please enjoy, and I'll see you soon. Oh, and I can't forget the special announcement from Monroe. Good morning, Monroe. It's Mrs. B. I hope you guys are all having a great morning. I'm here with my family this morning to have our morning meeting with you, and I'd like to introduce you to my family. Hello, my name is Craig. I'm Mrs. B's lovely husband. <laughs> Hi, I'm Ava, and I'm a freshman at Cumberland Valley High School. Hi, I'm Ashley. I'm a sixth grader in middle school. Hi, I'm Noah, and I... I'm a third grader in elementary school. The theme this week at Monroe is fairy tales. Oh, with the theme being fairy tale, fairy tales this week. I'm curious to know what if you could be in any fairy tale. Which fairy tale would you be in, and why? Um, I'll go first. I would want to be in Beauty and the Beast so that I could dance with Beast. Mrs. Mr. B? I would want to be in Beauty and the Beast so I can dance with Belle. No. I would want to be Peter Pan so I can fly. Um, I would want to be Elsa so I can have um, ice powers. And I would want to be in The Wizard of Oz because I want to be able to click my hair. Today we put together a snack activity that goes along with the season of Spring! Guys! As Ava said, we're going to go ahead and do an activity with you this morning. We hope that you enjoy it. Uh, we're going to make a snack that you can eat and it is consistent with the season of spring. We are going to be making an Oreo dirt snack. Um, it just involves a couple different ingredients. Um, some of it you might already have at home. And first, you just need a little plastic cup. Uh, it can be any cup that you have. Um, I just have, happen to have these clear ones here. Uh, you're going to need a spoon and three food items. We're going to need first the pudding. That's going to go in first. Uh, this can be chocolate. Um, if you don't like chocolate and you prefer vanilla, that's okay too. I happen to have this one on hand. Um, so that's going to go in first. We are going to crunch up the Oreos and that is going to serve as your dirt. So we're going to crunch those up and we're going to put that in next and then we're going to put some gummy worms in our uh, in our snack so that way you have a snack that has dirt and worms in it um, i hope that you enjoy making this so step one you're going to open up your pudding i can't open it and you're gonna take your spoon and dish that right into your plastic cup All right, now when you're done with that, you're going to take your Oreos and you're going to mash them up. <laughs> okay, now you're going to put those on top. Oh, already made a hole everywhere. 
actually. All right, so you're gonna put that on top of your pudding. And you can stir it around just a little bit. And then you can add your gummy worms. And then everybody, when you're done with that, can hold up your cups to show everybody your nice dirt snack. Perfection. So is mine. All right. Mine's really nutty. Noah? Mm hmm. <laughs> I got mud everywhere. Ava? You know what's going to happen. Pressure It's really muddy in there. It's really muddy, huh? Ashley? It's healthy. It's <laughs> healthy. It's very healthy. And yummy. We hope that you enjoyed your morning with the Berkheimers. We hope that you have a wonderful day. Bye. Bye. Good morning, Monroe. This is Fisher here, and I'm starting a new segment. It is the math problem of the week. So, your first math problem is Elijah went down in the basement and he was cleaning it. When he was down there, he found a bunch of spiders and a bunch of ants. Now, he tells you that he found there were a total of 15 heads and 96 legs, and I wanted to remind you that a spider has eight legs and ants have six legs. I want you to figure out how many spiders and how many ants Elijah cleaned up in the basement. So I thought that it would be the best way to solve this problem would be using a guess and check table. Now you know that you have a total of 15 critters, right? Because each critter only has one head. So start from there. See if you can figure out the answer and post it on Twitter, and you can call it Math Problem of the Week. Okay? Have a great day. See you soon. Bye-bye. Hello, Monroe. Miss Jill here. Joke of the day. Why is Peter Pan always flying? Because he can never land. See you, Monroe. Hey, uh, you want to hear a joke? Oh, okay, dad joke. How many tickles does it take to make an octopus laugh? <laughs> what? Ten tickles. Do you want to hear Mr. Feaster tell a joke? <laughs> so I was FaceTiming with my mom last night. And I said, Mom, how do I look? And my dad popped on the phone and said, with your eyes. If you thought those dad jokes were hilarious, just wait till next week when we bust out our dad dance moves. See you then. As always, be kind and leave a legacy. See you tomorrow.